Alrighty guys, got our new uh, project tractor here. To make a long story short, I actually went to go look at this tractor thinking it was not going to be a project tractor because I just wanted something that was going to be nice, turnkey. I thought it was all original paint. It's an Ingersoll 3016. My friend told me last night that it is in fact an 89. So when I get to the guy's house, first thing I notice is that overspraying the decals. So I knew it had been repainted, let alone horribly repainted. The whole front edge of the hood is black when it's supposed to be orange. Somebody painted the Ingersoll emblem gold. And the bottom of the hood's all rotted out. And I'm like, well, great, that's a big turn off. Because I was told that it was a nice original tractor. Good running and everything. And, uh, guy fires it up and the thing is shaking like crazy and I mean shaking like crazy the whole tractor and it's uh, something's not right there so I asked him for a spark plug wrench I pulled this side this plug out cranked over sounded like it had both plugs out so I knew that the right cylinder was dead I've already pulled the head and the side tin off and this is what we found bunch of junk in there and it's kind of hard to see but the piston the, the face of the piston or the, the head of the piston is in the cylinder crooked it's, it's sitting in the cylinder like this so yeah to make long story short the engine's coming out of this thing and it's getting a full rebuild providing that everything's still good internally that the crank is still usable um, I know it's definitely going to need a car to be gone through, but yeah, sorry, I already got, got too carried away with the wrenches before I showed you guys what it looked like, but I'll throw in some pictures at the end of the video so you guys can get an idea of what it did look like when I first got it. But other than the engine being toast and it being horribly repainted, it's not in terrible shape. The hour meter is stopped at... 1078 hours so i figured it, this thing's probably got 2000 plus hours on it and yeah it needs a lot of work i'm probably going to end up having this tractor restored whether i restore it or have my case friend do it um we'll see i guess it all comes down to time and money but with what i paid for this tractor i paid about a quarter of what they were asking for it knowing what i know about the tractor and the guy was super understanding about it turns out that he is actually a uh, former co-worker of my boss so when he saw me show up with my what with my work clothes on he saw my hat and he saw my my shirt and he goes oh i know you guys i know your boss real well actually so we kind of shot it off for a little while and that real nice guy so he was happy that at least the tractor went to someone that knew what they were doing with it. I guess he had one other person come look at it and they ended up walking away because they didn't like how bad it vibrated. And well, worked out for the best in the end. So with that being said, I'm going to continue wrenching and get this motor pulled out and get it tipped up on end and pull the pan off and see what the carnage is. So stay tuned. All right, so I got the engine out of the tractor and mostly tore apart. We're at the point now where we're about to find out what kind of Legos this thing has inside of it. I can definitely hear quite a bit just putting tip in the motor on its side. But. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, that's not what you want to see. And here's the top part of the piston or the uh, connecting rod. And here's the wrist pin. And here's what's left of the bottom oil ring. And as far as piston goes, oh, it did break the block. Just one small chunk right at the bottom. And that's unfortunate, but I think it will be okay. I'm thinking that I could put another piston and rod in this 
engine and it should be okay providing that I can get everything else cleared out because there's the oil bits on the uh, pickup there I can you, can, you guys can kind of see there there's a little little tiny chunk missing out of the uh, the cylinder wall but the piston is yeah it's it's all the way down it went all it must have broken when it was on the connector rod must have broken it was on bottom dead center and it was definitely from oil starvation you can tell that for sure just by looking at all that in there definitely not gonna happen out of nowhere and I've had a lot of people lately tell me, oh, why, why are you asking this much money for a tractor that's got a known shit motor in it? Pardon my French. And this, that, and the other. And I always tell them, it's not a, it's not a crap motor. It's, it's all depends on how you take care of it. And this is nothing to say that this wasn't done by the previous owner. It could have been done before he got it even, and... Who knows how long that it's been busted for but if I turn the engine over a little bit the uh, rod journal Ooh. Eh, this could be interesting to correct if it's see if it's gonna be savable because I'm I'm feeling some what seems like dents possibly Dents from this guy here hitting the, uh, the crank. So I might have to uh, put a different crank in it as well. Which kind of sucks because I would like to keep the original engine in it. But worst comes to worst, I suppose I could always put a P220 in the tractor. I've got three or, three or four of them that are all in various states of repair. Many of them needing rods as well because they have one blown rod like this. But anyhow, I think that's going to do it for now on this project. And uh, time for me to get things cleaned up, wrapped up. I'll put the hood back on the tractor and get the tractor pushed out and out of the way for now. And we'll see what we can find as far as parts for this engine. So stay tuned and I'll definitely be featuring more on this tractor hopefully sooner than later. So, alrighty, enough of this, and I'll talk to y'all later.